Turkey's largest city, Istanbul, hosted a fresh round of face-to-face -face peace talks between Russian and Ukrainian delegations. Following three hours of talks, the Russian and Ukrainian delegations respectively made statements to reporters. The Ukrainian negotiators said Kiev wants to see several countries such as Canada, Poland, Israel and Turkey as guarantors, which could provide international protection to Ukraine. Russian delegations, meanwhile, pledged to drastically decrease military activities in Kiev and the northern Ukrainian city of Chernihiv to create the necessary conditions for dialogue. They described Istanbul's talks as difficult but also constructive, noting that the presidents of the two countries might meet only when a draft of a peace treaty is approved. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Tuesday that he saw positive signals from the peace talks between Ukraine and Russia. At the same time, Zelensky said that Ukraine is aware of all of the risks and will trust only concrete results. Following the Russia-Ukraine negotiations on Tuesday, David Arahamia, a member of the Ukrainian delegation, said Kyiv has proposed signing a new international treaty on security guarantees in an attempt to end the conflict in Ukraine. Meanwhile, according to Interfax, Ukraine news agency, Ukrainian Prime Minister Denis Shmyhal said that Ukraine's indirect losses from the conflict with Russia are estimated at more than 1 trillion US dollars. He projected that Ukraine's gross domestic product will shrink by 35% this year due to the conflict. The head of Russia's negotiation team, Vladimir Medinsky, said that Russian and Ukrainian delegations held constructive talks in Turkey's Istanbul on Tuesday, leading to steps to mitigate the situation. Medinsky, also an aide to the Russian president, said his team received proposals for considerations from the Ukrainian side, a clearly formulated position which could be included in the agreement. He also said that before the discussion of a possible meeting of Russian President Vladimir Putin and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, a treaty must be prepared and approved by the negotiators and then endorsed by the foreign minister.